Hey guys, Book one here. In today's video, we are playing the final day of the Verdant Forest event. Now, we have one final day to find a shiny Flabebe in the color that we haven't found yet. We found two of them this event, which is just awesome, but both of them have been the white flower Flabebe. So I'm gonna try to find a different color flower Flabebe at some point today, but we got a big stream, got ourselves a big grind. We're gonna go and see what we get today, and it'd be amazing if we pick up also the second shiny cotton. You're gonna be checking all those with you guys and hopefully pick it up maybe one, maybe two, and right there's a Wimpod, which is uh, shiny eligible in about a week and a half, which I'm so excited about. The First event of April looks absolutely crazy, although I say first event of April, but they haven't announced anything for April Fools, but there's no event on that date. We might get a special April Fools event. Who knows? Be ready for it just in case. But we also got ourselves our second spawn of the daily, which is a Flabebe, which our friends list is lagging. Okay, there we go. Boom, we got ourselves a Flabebe, which is a yellow flower, which we still need, but not shiny. Let's see what we could get today, though. Now we got ourselves a few checks, including a Pan Sage, which is another shiny that I still still need from this event. So I'm hoping to pick one up at some point today. We also have a bronze ore because it's bronze ore boosted shiny, but we got three tasks. First one is a cottony, but it's 281. Second up is a polywag that is 330. And the third and final one is going to be a slugma 368. Now, another goal for this event and the event following is to get the blue Zora because it's a spawn not only in this event, but the following as well. But we got ourselves a nice little cluster and another Zora. I'll quick catch this one, but this is a really nice cluster here. So we got ourselves another Pan Sage and a few friends. And let's see if we got ourselves a shiny and I'm not gonna lie, there was a cottony here that is now despawned. So I guess goodbye to that cottony forever. It is what it is. We got ourselves some shroomishes. We might as well check them. They are Stardust boosted. So I'm trying to catch as many of these as I can because again, they're Stardust boosted. It is weather boosted. It's like a thousand dust to catch. It's amazing. Unfortunately, also that other Zora wasn't blue, but it's all good. Let me know in the comments down below though. How did your event go? And are you guys ready for this Team Go Rocket event coming up in a few days? I cannot wait for it. New Shiny Shadow rotations, Shiny Shadow Mewtwo this weekend, and Shiny Sandile. After the other one did a little disappearing act. We got a cottony that isn't shiny and a little bit of a voice crack there as well, but it is what it is. Now we got ourselves a wild pan sage, which isn't shiny, but we got three catch 15 tasks. So, oh, sorry, first one's a catch five. Awkward, we don't talk about that, but we have two catch 15 tasks. So let's see if one of those turns into either a hundo, which is 410 CP or that, but shiny, unfortunately not. Let's keep going. And another wild cottony that is not shiny. We're trying to, we're trying to finish that shiny line but it's still unsuccessful to this point but we got two tasks which could help us they do have a potential to have cottony we get one on the incense but first a slugma that isn't shiny 374 actually is decent but incense cottony not shiny and poke powers have been turned on for one of my favorite clusters now we got poke powers for 10 minutes but let's see if it brings us a shiny right away now i gotta be a little bit more responsible with my poke powers because we may have blown through like a hundred and something candies yesterday on stream. I'm not gonna lie. I think we did like six hours of Palkia Powers on stream yesterday, but hey, it is what it is. It helped us get tons of shinies. We were really having a rough time yesterday. I hope today's grind doesn't look like yesterday's grind to start on the 10 hour stream. For the first four and a half hours, I didn't find a single shiny. So I'm hoping today's grind doesn't look like that. I'm hoping we could get a shiny at some point early on because that would be amazing. But we got ourselves a nice little cluster here. We'll see if something shines. We got a Pansier over there, which is really nice because Pansier and Pan Sage are the two weather boosted Pokemon when it turns uh, sunny weather. And those are the two not from my region. So it kind of fits perfectly with what I'm hunting for for this event in terms of those three. But I would love Pan Sage to pop up at some point. Still got ourselves a couple checks though. We'll see if one of the Dagos turns out to be Shiani. That one is not. And then we got ourselves a couple Bulbasaur's one and number two. Nope, both not Shiny. Now we got ourselves a wild jump bluff, but never mind that. We got a Codney right here that is in orange. A runway ticket to pay. Now the jump bluff is still there, but another cottony on the other side of things. You know what? Why does this keep happening to me? We might as well check the other spawns here with you guys real quick because we got a flabebe and the incense that isn't shiny. We got ourselves a couple more spawns. We'll see what we could pick up today though. Hoping to pick up a few shinies to wrap up this awesome event. I mean, honestly, there were some pretty good moments in this event for me. Obviously got our shiny shaman. It perfectly fit the theme of the event. Now there's a root, there's a root we want to talk about. And we got an incense cottony that isn't shiny with a friend off to the side with flabebe. Nope, not shiny either. And there it is already, shiny number one on the day, shiny Poochiana. Now, two things. One, this was definitely a theme on yesterday's 10-hour stream as we picked up three of them, 
but but we may have found the wrong shiny Pokemon. The reason why I'm saying that is look what is right next to it. Okay, never, never mind. That's a that's a three star. That's actually pretty good. But I was gonna say, look what's right next to it. We got a Pansage. The the Pugetta is right next to this Pugetta. I was gonna say if we go back to back, but it was right next to this Pansage, and I was really hoping to pick up this Pansage at some point today. And the Pugetta was right next to it. But at the end of the day, a shiny is a shiny. Let me know in the comments down below. Did I find the wrong shiny, or is it just a shiny is a shiny? That's how the game rolls. You just be happy with what you get. And it was a three star, so don't no complaints for me. Yet another wild cutiny that isn't shiny, and maybe we get another better finger doggo? Nah. And we cleared out all the spawns but the shroomish that isn't shiny, but we did catch everything for these three catch 15s, which could give us that pain stage that we're looking for. Would love to pick up the hundo, but or a shiny, you know, either one is fine, but we get two panseers, and the third test is going to be. Okay, th trio of pantsers, I guess. All that are got about you. Still on the hunt for that blue Zora. Let's see if this is the one. Nope. And I think the good luck is flowing back. After yesterday's 10 hour stream, we got a shiny cutie fly. I love this thing. And again, we started yesterday's 10 hour stream with four and a half hours straight without a shiny. We get two here within an hour of the grind today. Love to see that. And we get a great shiny with shiny cutie fly. Love to pick this up. I know a few friends that still need a spare one. So I'll hold this for them. And this one will punch you right in the face. A 15 attack. Okay, that thing will uh, be a little bit dangerous. But back to back with a cotton, it would be awesome. But very happy to pick up another shiny. And that one being cutie fly. Definitely very happy about that. Let's check the time as well. Because I think those two are at the very like latest. I think 10 minutes apart. Let's just go check. Journal is going to be... 1232 uh, and then scroll down for the Poochiana. It's somewhere we've been catching a lot. It's somewhere. Hold on. And for whatever reason, it's only loading half of it, but you can see right here, 1224 is the shiny Poochiana. We literally just caught the shiny cutie fly here at 1232. Maybe if I reset, yeah, I'll show it. 1232. So eight minutes apart, definitely take it. And now it's time for one of my favorite streets, and we're going to talk about a few things in the next event because there's some stuff that I need you guys to know. You guys have to know this stuff. I want to keep you guys in the know. We need to know that Shadow Darumaka is coming to the game, and Shadow Darumaka is going to be the number one fire type attacker in the game. So make sure you're catching that thing. Also, know that you can remove frustration during this event don't forget because i forget every single time at least with a couple pokemon so make a tag for it already just gonna let you guys know ahead of time kind of thing and shadow groudon we're gonna get a new research but for a super rocket radar it'll be like something pretty easy to complete usually it takes me about a couple days at the very most and you're gonna obtain something that's gonna help you get the shadow groudon it's gonna get be the super rocket radar you'll be able to obtain shadow groudon and it's gonna be very very strong it's gonna be one of the best ground type attackers as Groudon is normally and as Shadow obviously it's going to do a lot more damage so definitely definitely got to pick up Shadow Groudon unfortunately I only have one Super Rocket Radar saved up because I used two on the Kyogre now I kind of wish that I used one on Kyogre and two on Groudon because you know me I love my Groudon but regardless do not purify your Groudon as well just just don't do it you probably got a good one this weekend anyways even if it's going to purify into a hundo it's going to be a lot better as a Shadow just a little PSA but we got ourselves a Magikarp that isn't shiny and we got ourselves an Oddish, also not shiny, and then that Cottony back there. Let's see it. Not orange. Now we got ourselves a quick blue Zora check. Still need a second one of these. Would love to pick it up at some point in this event or the next one. But we also got ourselves a nice cluster with a couple full bebes. I knew we had at least one. And we got a pan sage, which still isn't shoddy. I would love to pick that up today. It is supposed to be another sunny filled day, which yesterday it was as well. So hopefully we see tons of them today because they were a little bit less common without the weather boost. But the incense is definitely bringing them in. So I'm hoping to find that at some point today. That is the main goal besides obviously the cottony and flabebes because those are the brand new shinies in this event but we got a, a pair of Baneeries because I guess why not we don't have a Easter event so if maybe we'll pick up one up before then three more tasks two catch 15s and a catch five but we got a Panseer and a Pansage but not shiny and last but not least we got a Shlugma not shiny. Three catch fives. Let's get it to one is a Slugma. Second is a Cottony 287. And the third and final one is going to be a Slugma again 370. And another quick triple task. Let's see if one of them is shiny. We got two catch 15, so would love to see a shiny Pan Sage. Or a huge pants here. We'll definitely take that. 381. Not the hundo. Very far off, but it's okay. Next one's going to be a pan pour. Not shiny. I, th I thought we had two catch 15s. It was three catch 15s. 
My bad. Now, I'll be honest, I thought I had two 12 kegs, but I only got one apparently. Let's see it. It's a lot of retard. We're going to be hatching a ton of these in the next event, looking for that shiny sand owl. But we also got ourselves a cluster with the cat need to start off. We got ourselves a lot of checks. Let's just see if something shines. That'd be cool. We got ourselves a, a Meowth, which, funny enough, I still need a second one to complete that shiny line. I have, you know, the can't, the sorry, the Alolan ones and the Galarian ones, but the Canto one, I only have one of, which is something that, I don't know, it just doesn't like me, I guess. I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe we got to talk. We got a little bit of an issue, but it is what it is at the end of the day We got ourselves some shroomish some Bulbasaur I mean, I'm loving how many shroomishes we're seeing as well with the weather boost again with the star piece They're like a thousand uh, dust per catch, but at the very least they're like 600 something dust to catch like very very nice Which you just love to see but we got ourselves an Oddish got ourselves a Tangela that is in shiny got ourselves a Poochiana You guys know how much that thing has loved me these last two days I picked up four of them three in the 10-hour stream one today, but we got to one line Last check, which I think I already checked the shroomish. Now we got two Zoras and three tasks, but the first Zora is not blue. Okay, but just maybe the second one is the blue Zora, because that would just be amazing if we could pick that up right here. No? Okay, well, we got three tasks. Let's just quickly go ahead and claim them, because one of them is a catch 15, two of them are catch five. First one is the catch 15, Panpour, not shiny. The other two are the catch fives. Let's see it. First one is a Poliwag, 334, three, and the last one, the, the last one, the third one is going to be a Cottony, 284. You're looking for 300. And another wild cottony that isn't orange. We'll see if we can pick up one of these today, though. And another wild cottony that still isn't orange, but it's okay because we got three tasks. Maybe it's hiding in here. We got the first one, 290, decent. Next one's going to be a slugma. And the final task is giving us a slugma yet again, 372. And yet another cottony is this one, the shiny that we're looking for. Uh, not quite. And another wild cottony. Are you shiny? Nope. Now we got ourselves a quick incense flip and it's really hard to tell if that's shiny or not, but the Connie, that one's a little bit easier to tell, but we also got a catch 15, which can be that right there, but it would have been awesome if it was shiny. Now I hit stop record, took a few steps and look what's just here. We got a flip again on the incense, but we got two more of these cottonies. Let's see if one of them turns out to be shiny. No, but we also got two pan sages, which again, from the research, like I said, I still need in the collection. So I would love to pick up one of those. We got that one. That it isn't shiny. We got a Panseer. Also not shiny. It is what it is. We got ourselves an Oddish and we got ourselves a Jigglypuff that we might as well check because they're standing here regardless. You know what I mean? But we also got a Poochiana. Let's just check that. Nope. And now it's time for three catch fives. First one is a Slugma. Second up is going to be another Slugma. And the third and final one is going to be a Cottony that is 284. It's all right. And we got three quick 10k eggs. First one is a Turtonator. We also have the Adventure Seek 10k in here. We'll see if that gets us something special, but we get a Jangmo. And third and final is going to be a Turtonator. And we had a loud golf cart pass by, but the IVs are all right, all right, and all right. And we got ourselves a quick cluster that we'll quickly go through because we got ourselves one cottony and two Ninkatas. Now, the reason why I bring them up is because it's a little nest here. This little tiny patch of grass is a nest for them, but I thought I had this line done and dusted. I still need one for the collection. I didn't know that. I have a ninjask, which I evolved from a Ninkata, and then I caught a Sheninja from research, but... I didn't know that I don't have just a pure Ninkata now, so I guess I gotta come here every single day, try to pick that up, get that shine line done and dusted, but we got ourselves a pair of Oddish and a Shroomish. Let's see if one of them turns out to be shiny. No. Now we got ourselves a wild pan sage, and I guess we'll check the pan board that just rolled in on the incense, because why not? Both of them not shiny, but we also got two explore one kilometer tasks, which is going to give us a marill, and the second one is going to give us a cottony, 289, 300 is the hundo. And we got two flower crown cats in these. First one is a no. Second one is also a no. And we got some quick checks at one of our favorite clusters. We got a pan seer. We got ourselves, of course, cottony and pan sage, which still isn't shot. I'm hoping to pick that up either on stream later or right before we get back to the car now because we're going to get home and just do some stuff before we start up the stream in a couple hours. So we'll see how that goes. We got a tangela that isn't shiny. Also got ourselves a shroomish. Also not shiny, we also just completed an explore one kilometer task. Might as well claim that here with you guys right now because we had just completed. Is it shiny? It's a cottony, but not shiny. Now in this event, I've been catching tons of Oddish because they have a chance to be ditto, but this is how to guarantee it. You can see I have a 14 CP weather boosted 
oddish. That is a guaranteed ditto because you can't get a 14 CP when it's weather boosted. It's literally impossible. So this is a guaranteed ditto. And let's see if it's a blue ditto. It is not, unfortunately, but hey, at least we got to see one. And we got another quick blue Zora check. I really want to pick up another one of these. It's an amazing shoddy. Just been a little bit unlucky with it, but we got a Katani and a Pansy here that we might as well check with it. Not shutting. And we're getting towards the end of the grind, but we've got a wild Katsuni that isn't shut. Now we got two quick explore one kilometers right at the end of the grind. We got, ooh, 193 from real. Let me catch this. I think you're looking for like 195 or 196, but just in case, I wanted to catch this with you guys because it's the highest one I've seen this event. It's a 96, so pretty decent, but we got another Marill. Not higher CP. And before we get home and get ready for the stream later and everything, we got ourselves a, a nice cluster here. One of my favorite clusters in the local area because just look how many spawns are here with pocket powers. We got multiple cottonies. We got multiple flabebes. Let's see if one of them turns out to be shiny. No, but we do have other spawns. So let's just check those, see if one of those turns out to be shiny. Of course, we're looking for as many shinies as we could get as normal. And if we could pick up one of these Pants H, Pants here, Pant Pores, That'd be cool too. Any of those I'm always happy with. And who doesn't love a shiny shroomish? All that kind of stuff, right? We'll see. We'll see if something shines though. We got ourselves shroomishes though. I do also want to catch for the starters. They're no longer weather boosted, but at the end of the day, it's still 500 dust to catch, which is nice. So make sure you guys are always taking advantage of that. But we got ourselves a Flabebe that isn't shiny. Got ourselves a Tangela and a couple other spawns. Let's just check those real quick. Hapip, not shiny. We'll go with one last spawn. I think this Oddish I haven't checked. Not shiny. Oh, right here, is it this one? Yeah. 771, hey, shout out to you for calling it out. The second time you've gotten me a hundo. Yeah. Let me golden raz that and give it, this time it can't an excellent throw. Oh, I messed up the excellent throw. I got you. I will say my brother Thomas has failed a hundo, put him on blast. He failed the zigzagoon. I told him to golden raz it and he did not and it ran away. So I, I failed the hundo squirrel. Yeah. That was annoying. I still don't have a hundo squirrel, but I failed that, the guy that, called down to Yes. That Hold is them, rads it. They give pain. the excellent. It breaks out and then runs. That is big pain. Yeah. But the CP, boom. Hunter Nestleaf. Oh nice. That's awesome. But we do take those. 771. Nice. Shout out to you. Love that. Second Hunter you've gotten me. So appreciate that. Yep. Now I'll see what else I can get. GG's. And now I can't even lie. Your boy forgot to record the outro for this video. So we're doing that right now. But we did get two shinies on the final day. A little bit of a slower day. But... For the event, we did do pretty well. We got 25 shinies, including not one, but two shiny white flower for bebes, which I am so hyped about. And uh, yeah, we got ourselves four Groudons in there. We got a Bulbasaur, some Shroomishes, a Panseer, which I would love to pick up the Pan Sage, but I'm happy with the Panseer as that finishes a line for me. Also got a Smoochum, got a Lickitung, um, which was just random. I mean, it just showed up from an egg. It was awesome, cool. We take it, I guess. But we got the Cottony and the Flabebe. That's the most important thing. We got the two new shinies and we actually got some Hundos as well. But let's show off the Shaman because that was one of the things we caught in this event. It perfectly fits the theme and age zero to four. Let's just go and get out of the shinies. We're going to go to four stars because we got eight of them. We did pretty well with the Hundos. We got two of the Hundo Cottonies, which I thought was so cool. We evolved one of them, so we have the line done for the Hundos. Got ourselves a Petalo, got ourselves two Shroomishes, Purified a Stantler, got the Groudon during raid day that close to the Shundo, and got ourselves a Nuzlafe randomly in this video as well. That was the only thing we got on a three, and that was the only thing we got yesterday on our three and a half hour stream, but also we caught Zarud, but my Zarud was Gardabagio, so it it is what it is. It's better than my other one, but 13, 11, 13, just not too good. It is what it is at the end of the day. The stores are spawned in. Would have been really cool if we could add that to the day. But we'll see what the next event looks like. I'm really excited. It actually starts when you're watching this video tomorrow, which is really awesome. I cannot wait. We got shiny sand dial. Got ourselves some new shiny shadows. Cannot wait. And we got a message from none other than Ditto. That's facing backwards. Ditto. Um, but... Hey, thank you guys so much for 41.5k. You guys have been supporting the channel like crazy, and I'm just so thankful for all of you guys hitting that subscribe button, joining the community. Cannot wait to see this next event and just so much. We got Shadow Mewtwo this weekend. Your boy's gonna go crazy for it. I cannot wait for what's to come. We got Heracross Raid Day next month, and we got a couple things, and I cannot wait for it. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying the videos. I super appreciate you guys' support, and see you guys in the next video. Uh, peace.